Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. All right. Um. So we what the? So we've had a bit of a development. Um. In our last episode, the Western Protectorate has decided to attack the Byzantine Empire in an attempt to um turn it into its tributary state. And right now we are seeing a whole slew of their troops marching across my territory to get to the Byzantines. Um, I'm gonna propose something that's gonna sound a little strange, but I think we might actually need to come into the rescue of the Byzantines. Um, of course, recently we did go to war against the Byzantines to claim the Kingdom of Anatolia, which I believe was the main cause for their um, extremely weakened state. So all of this is, of course, my fault, but, um, I don't like the idea of uh, China having its influence outside of the uh, easternmost um, uh, territories here. So India and I guess the uh, Mongolian steppes, I'm kind of okay with, but uh, having them, um, having them turn the Byzantine Empire into its tributary state I think it's a little too much. So, what I'm now proposing is that we actually go to war against the Western Protectorate in an attempt to destroy their armies before they get to the Byzantines so that the Byzantines can win the war against the Western Protectorate and remain um, untributaryized or whatever. Um, of course, this will be no, no uh, small undertaking because I think... Um, well, they have 56,000, but they are event spawn, meaning that the, I believe China might actually send in more reinforcements or something in case the Western Protectorate gets attacked. And right now we are disgustingly over our vast limit as well. So let's do whatever we can to minimize that number. First, we'll create the Shadow of Anatolia. And I think I will grant the Vice Royalty to this guy. He seems to have the best stats, so I believe he is the best suited for the job. Merry Christmas. And I believe I also have the Kingdom of Egypt, which is another massive ass um, title. Let's give it to... I don't like the fact that this guy has two duchies. He's got the um, Duchy of Cairo and the Duchy of Sinai. Um, this one over here. I think we'll give the kingdom or the vice royalty title to this little kid. Now, normally I would ask him to be my uh, uh, my ward first before issuing that command, but um, we're just gonna go with it. And wait, why was there a thing saying that? Ah, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You own land where you shouldn't. Damn, damn, damn any damn. Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. Right now we have more, uh, we have bigger fish to fry, as it were. And I believe... Um... Hmm... I think maybe we can give away this kingdom? Although, I mean, it's only two counties, or two duchies, rather, so it's not that... Uh, impressive. We can't do anything with the kingdom of Jerusalem. We can't create the Duchy of Tripoli, unfortunately. Um, I could create the Duchy of Palmyra. But right now, we're kind of plotting to uh, revoke um, this guy's land from Palmyra, so... It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Also, let's get our Holy Order dismissed and re-raised in our capital. Because I think once we go to war against the uh, Western Protectorate, we're going to need to have all our forces, well, come closer to the Western Protectorate. Ah, shit. Um, okay, I don't like the fact that we are bordering the Western Protectorate this way, because it makes getting to this region a lot more difficult. We have to go through the enemy territory, where we don't necessarily have the best supply limit. So here's what I'm thinking. This might be a bit of a controversial choice, but I'm actually going to grant these guys independence. That way, uh, when we get involved in our war, they're not going to be affected. And we don't have to protect these territories. Let's do it. Too late. 
it's already being done. If you have any objections, please um, send all hate mail to uh, Rilye and uh, address it to the guy who loves breakfast foods. Um, okay, so that incidentally also made our vassal limit uh, perfect. So I think now would be a good time to go to war against the Western Protectorate. And it seems like we actually still have a border with them, which is great. Avanti. Apparently we can uh, do a holy war for Avanti. Thankfully, there aren't any other Taoists in the entire world except for the Western Protectorate. So they're not going to be um, uh, helped out here. Okay. This could be a huge mistake. But... We're going for it. This will give us, of course, this will give us a little um, sample taste of uh, what it's going to be like to attack the Western or the or attack China in the future once we try to uh, put um, someone of our own dynasty on the uh, on the dragon throne. All right, you guys ready for this? This could be the end of the campaign here. Boom. My council informs that the Chinese emperor has sent significant forces from the heart of the Middle Kingdom to support their outlying regions in the west. Leaning over the war table, I can only hope that my silence instills confidence in my advisors. In my own chest, I feel a ma mild panic rising. Oh, what have I done? Oh, jeez. Now they're at 120,000. And we have, oh, less than that. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, um... Emergency, I may have made a giant mistake that we cannot undo. Let us go ahead and start. Okay, uh, you guys can actually stay put. Actually, I'm going to have you guys move down south. Let's have you start sieging down their territory while we can. In the meantime, let's raise my domain levy. And then let's raise my vassal levy as well. And I think that should be good. Hopefully, we won't need to hire mercenaries, but... Um, if we need to, then at least we have a decent amount of money built, it, uh, built up right now. Okay, so let's hope that instead of going towards the Byzantines, these guys now... Okay. Uh, first off, get out of here. And you guys, get out of here. Is there anyone else who's about to enter a Royal Rumble? Um, I'm hoping not. Yeah, let's have you guys going from there instead. Who else has not yet raised their levies? Guys, please. Raise your levies, kids. Raise your levies. Except for you guys, of course. Alright, I suppose we need the um, Chinese out of my territory first. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Or for the night. Um, uh, don't really have time for it, but sure. And apparently I need to break up with one of my lovers again. Good grief. Um, let's go with this lady. The, uh, well, she is actually one of my daughters, I believe. Because, <laughs> uh, she's the daughter of my lover, Colin Can. Um, and we haven't had any really successful children with her. So, I'm just gonna break up with Namandaje, that's fine. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell us more about the mystical realms of Hindustan. Sorry guys, my throat's a little, um, parched? Scratchy? Um, I don't know. Dying? So I'm gonna uh, uh, put in some silences here to clear my throat and all that stuff. Anyways, dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you with a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond, beyond reproach. Johannes is absolute rubbish. But we will accept him. And do we want to threaten the vassal? Um, not really. I mean, I don't really care. And it seems like the Tibetans have now gone into a revolt. Good for them, I guess. All right, we have 25,000 here, which is a decent amount. Let's have you guys actually make your way down to Uch. 
And then from there we can actually, how about up here? We might be able to intercept the Chinese armies as they move down south through here. I'm assuming they're going to try to uh, stay out of my territory as much as humanly possible, unless they're actually going to start sieging it. Yeah. Um, Dilsos. Um, sure, I guess. And they have 40,000 here who appear to be taking attrition, which is great for us. Alright, alright. Uh oh, the Chinese have made uh, landfall into my territory. Let's have my main stack take out their 4,000. Start things off right. Your vassal Emira Binefs has expressed her dissatisfaction with her choice of advisors. She claims that she is more qualified than the majority of her council and that she would make an excellent marshal. Um, she would be a controversial choice, however. Well, right now my marshal is actually better than you, so no, Binefs. I don't know if I necessarily want to chase them into Kazmira. Um, be taking some risks there in the form of attrition. Why don't you guys get the hell out of here so that you don't embarrass me? Um, what we could try to do is actually split these guys up and then have them attack in Kazmira. I don't know if they'll actually get there in time. They won't. Let's not even bother then. All right, they're making their uh, their way down south. Some of them are moving up north to we uh, get to Kabul, which is fine by me. Fatumata denounced. Sorry, Colin Can. Um, all right, four thousand making their way down. We have our holy order here, so that should be fine for the time being. You guys can group up. Let's keep an eye out on this stack. I think if we can take that stack out, that'll be perfect. And um. Zunbil Ang, who's apparently uh, Han, which I guess should make things interesting. Alright, so wait, what happened? Did we just get, get attacked somewhere, or...? I don't understand. What happened? Oh, I see. Shit biscuit, okay. Well, I don't know who you guys are. I'm assuming you're the... Oh shit, that's my retinue. You guys need to actually start moving too. Get over to Kabul. Okay, um, 18,000, let's wait until we have about 20,000 with this stack, and then we'll have them move order over into Urabanda. And it seems like we're going to get attacked? Oh, the Chinese army is actually going into attack. Um, of course, our holy order is just caked, absolutely caked in camouflage, which is why they can't see them. And apparently I've inherited the Satrapy of Lahore. Fantastic. Okay, well, he didn't need to die so like such a little bitch. Also, are you still in my prison? Can I just throw you in the oubliette? And let's make this guy my viceroy for now. There you go. Ah, oh, look, he's got our herpes. Nice. He's been touched by the divine grace of Zun. Which is, I guess, how we're interpreting the whole having herpes thing. Alright, let's actually get you guys over on that side, and you guys can move on to Sakala. That way, it's a little easier for us to intercept the Chinese army if they choose to uh, go that way. And you guys will actually follow the uh, stack of Chinese troops down there. At a festive outing in the wild, I found a message left amidst wildflowers addressed to my courtier, Namandaje, my former lover, um, and also daughter. The would-be lover, Chief Berad, is waiting for her by the stream near the camp. What an ass. How dare you try to seduce my uh, bastard daughter that I disown. Great holy war for Rus. Fantastic. All right. Oh, shit. They managed to merge up with 29,000. Thankfully, if we catch them with uh, these stacks over here, we should be fine. Um, But I'm actually thinking that, you know what? Let's actually have our troops uh, stay in these four counties. That way, if they ever get into uh, Kazmira, we can actually intercept with many, many stacks as opposed to just the one. Okay, you guys, they're dealing with the rebellion down there. You guys can actually make your way over to Kabul again. 29,000. They're supposed to be taking attrition. Doesn't really seem like it, though. That's a thing. Which is a little strange, I'm not going to lie. And... 
Let's go and just completely annihilate the uh, stack there. Oh shit, what the hell guys? I didn't tell you to go there, you dumb sacks of shit. Unfucking believable. Um, my Aphysite Heresy, I really have no time for this. Okay, you guys better not take any attrition. God. Okay. Oh no, they took attrition. I think we lost about 2,000 troops, which is absolutely unacceptable. Um, I don't know where these guys are going. They're deciding to just traipse off into foreign lands. Um, and Latova is pregnant. Fantastic. And this guy's trying to meet up with uh, Namandaje again. Unfucking believable. What a what a randy little goat. Um, says the guy with like 20 million lovers. Are all my siblings dead? Wow. Um. Wait. What? Oh, I guess they all. Almost all of them died of. You know what? Every single one of my siblings died of unnatural causes, which is a little strange. Okay, so if you attack these guys in Kazmira, no, I'm not gonna give you land. If you attack these guys in Kazmira, we will unfortunately be the Heavenly Emperor uh, Su Jingzong, Emperor Pingzong of the Qin Empire, is most sorry to hear about the death of He Wuzi, your master engineer, and offers you his most sincere condolences. Um, you do realize that we're at war, right? Yeah, we're at war. Um, so we can't really interact with them at all. And, uh, despite that, the Emperor sends his condolences and shit, which is actually very, very nice of him. <laughs> Not what I expected. Okay. Oh, jeez, that's insane. How are the Byzantines doing? Um, they still got their major rebellion, which is currently at 99%. Holy crap, it looks like the Rebellion is actually going to win this time, which is insane. And I need to break up with uh, someone else. Unfucking believable Um, you know what, let's just break up with uh, Lelav. I don't know why we seduced her in the first place. Okay, if we can actually catch these guys in Kazmira, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so they won't be taking a river crossing penalty, but we will be attacking them in the hills. Which is not great, but we have overwhelming numbers, so I think we're going to be alright. Um, they're going to arrive December 16th, December 15th. Shit, that's not really going to work out. It'd be nice if we could get them to attack us instead. That way we're on a bit of a um, level playing field here. But unfortunately that's not going to happen. So we're just going to have to overwhelm them uh, with a overwhelming numbers. Okay. Going well so far. And no, I will not be studying the skies right now. Unbelievable. See, these guys have no sense of timing. There we go. That's our first battle against the uh, uh, Chinese. And they're moving down south into Gujaratra. I really should have had commanders in those uh, armies. That was completely my mistake. And so we suffered um, greatly for it. As a matter of fact. But we still somehow have a lot of troops with us. Which is a little strange. Actually. Huh. Where are the rest of my troops? Where are these guys? Supposed to have 8,000 more somewhere. Alright. Sack of shit. We do um, outnumber them 2 to 1 with this these stacks here. And Murican is dead. Dead as shit, as a matter of fact. Okay, we're gonna follow them into Sakala. We're at 8%. Oh shit, no. Yeah. Holy Order, get the hell out of there. <laughs> and it seems like disbanding the Holy Order in the... Oh jeez, no. Oops. It seems like disbanding the Holy Order in enemy territory is actually okay. For some reason, we didn't take any losses from disbanding them that time. Which is news to me, as a matter of fact. All right, we're gonna follow them there. You guys can move into Gujaratra. And they're actually starting to siege down one of my territories down south. Meaning that we might need to actually uh, divert our attention down there. Okay, Erdogan. I don't know who you are, but go for stewardship. Make me proud, person who may or may not be related to me. Okay, they're starting to siege down my territory. 
That's fine. As long as we maintain victories in uh, combat, we should be okay. Let's um, intercept these guys in Kazmira. Successful crusade for Aquitaine. Really? Whoa. Interesting. And also, interesting. It seems like um, the Empire Britannia now exists, which is pretty crazy. Is it me or did France make a comeback? And all... No. 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 Oh my god. How did they ex How did they survive? The Carlings are still alive. No. Oh. Good grief. There's still a level of them. A, a level? Eleven of them running around making babies and shit. Unfucking acceptable. Okay. Um, so the Chinese are coming into Naguda now with 11, uh, 13,000, which is not great. Um, how are their numbers? 95,000 to our, I believe, around 120,000. Which is good. Um, let's get our Holy Order back. Um, and where's our retinue, by the way? Retinue. Vobisto. Okay, let's have these guys destroy the rebellion and actually make their way across. Um, oh, there's my retinue. There's the other stack, rather. Okay. Um, worrying reports reach, have reached you regarding your marshal. It seems he has been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry in Kabul. Well, that's not great. Um, we can have Furhang instead be our commander, or marshal. But here's the thing, Furhang is currently leading troops. So I'll deal with this in, uh, in a bit. Okay, let's have you guys move down south. Move up uh, into Sakala. Rujes, or whatever the hell your name is supposed to be. I have no idea. And we're actually gaining money, too, while all this is happening, which is absolutely insane. And he managed to uh, imprison some dude. Fantastic. All right. Okay, let's let's keep an eye on our uh, war score. Even though we are winning battles and shit, um, we still need to claim territory if we're at uh, if we're to make any kind of progress here. Right, okay, that's great. Let's have you guys move down south, of course, making sure that we respect the uh, supply limit as we move along here. Actually, you guys can move up into Lahore, fine. Um, yeah, we need to move down south to actually start taking a territory from the uh, Chinese. And we have another 20,000 that's almost ready to roll. Have you guys moved down there? That's good. Good, good, good. We might need to split this stack up, which doesn't sit that well with me, considering that we kind of need the numbers advantage here. Um, but... Ah, needs must when the devil drives, right? Alright, let's make sure that we uh, always maintain the holy, unholy trifecta um, thing, though. Okay, that's not gonna work. Go into Multan, and then from Multan into Karor. You guys can move down there, and then down into Rennie once you're done. Great. Okay. That is going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. We've got 20,000 ready to roll. Let's have these guys move down into Kafrikot, take out the uh, Indians. Um, Karor, and then Vic, Vic, Victor's Land. Ah, shit. You know what? That's only slightly above their uh, supply limit, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, going to Naguda. You guys can move down there. It's good. And let's have you guys move into... Ludavra, or whatever that place is. If we can somehow coax the uh, Chinese into attacking us in Ludavra or whatever, we should be golden. Now, if we maintain this, that's not really a holy trifecta, but it's fairly close. Okay, so I think... I think the Chinese armies are actually affected by attrition, which is news to me. I thought that uh, being um, event spawn troops that they'd be immune to attrition, but it seems like that's not the case. 
Um, or maybe it's because they're mixed in with their uh, actual domain troops and all that shit, too. Okay, um, so this guy's headed down over there, September 12th. September 12th. And I've inherited the Shadow of Egypt. I don't know what happened to him. He died of... He died of rabies. Unfucking believable. Wow. I give him land, and this is how he repays me? The Umayyad Revolt. Fantastic. Okay, um... Well... I suppose then maybe we should go with this guy as our Viceroy for now. That's good. And of course, that guy's going to revert to uh, whatever the hell that business is. Alright, well, um... I am going to have to shove this man inside of you. But, uh, alright. Hmm, it's a little disconcerting, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like having these guys not really reach them. What we could do is we could have these two stacks move down over here. Um... That's great, sure, sure, sure. What's the supply limit here? Not amazing. Actually, let's have you guys move down over there. That's good. Okay, they seem to be retreating a little bit. We're at 50%, which isn't great. We really need to start taking territory away from the uh, Chinese. Okay, so once this stack kind of moves oh, out, I think we should be okay to attack these guys in uh, wherever the hell this is. I'm going to be taking some river crossing penalties, but that's fine. Okay, let's have you guys replace these as they move in. And they're not taking attrition anymore, which is a little strange, I'm not going to lie. And Su Wu Yu is apparently dead. What the fuck? Um, why is Su Wu Yu dead, exactly? Okay, let's have you guys move into Godwad. Alright, we're at 40,000 with these stacks, and they're not going to be reinforced with the, uh, by the Chinese, which is fantastic. Let's have you guys start taking territory back. Um, you guys took a lot of casualties there. Which is very strange, to say the very least. Alright, um, Holy Order, you guys are already there. Let's have you guys move down here. Um, oh no! What the fuck? Damn it! If only we had some kind of sort of like early warning system or whatever. Ah, shit. Let's see if we can actually catch them in this territory, which... Uh, granted, isn't... Probably isn't the best idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's just have you take tor tor territory back. Okay, so that's our first, I guess, loss against the Chinese. But that's only 16,000, which isn't all that uh, crazy big. So let's have you guys meet up in Banu. Um, oh jeez, what the fuck? Okay, so the rebellion has been dealt with. Let's have our retinue come back up north. Um, you guys can meet up down there. Thankfully, I don't think it's gonna take uh, too long to get out of there once you're done with the fighting. That's good. That Those are some crazy overwhelming numbers of ours. That's good. Let's have you guys half go over there. Actually, you might need more than half to go over there. Considering the supply limit there is kind of atrocious. That's 40,000, which is more than uh, what the territory can handle. What are their numbers? Um, 4,000. You know what? One stack should be more than enough. Let's have half of you go over here. You guys can stay and start sieging the, uh, this territory back away from them, please. And also, let's start sieging the territory away from the uh, Chinese. Oh, shit, burglar. Okay. Ah, shit, we're gonna be attacking them in the mountains. That is not a good idea. In fact, let's have you guys meet up- Ah, shit. Um... Man, they're pretty far. Knights of the Sun, where are you guys right now? Banu. Oh, you guys are here. Okay, well, I think if we actually have our best commanders here, maybe we should be okay. Let's have you guys also have an organizer. We can uh, usurp that. It's not really all that relevant right now. Good. Good. 
and start sieging down more territory from them, please. Go away, boats. Go away. Assault. Okay, now you're no longer suffering from attrition. And let's uh, take these lands back. S stop fucking raising boats! I'm trying to use the fucking um, shortcut to assault territory here. Unbelievable. Okay. These aren't great numbers. Here's what I'm proposing. Mercenaries. Not aliens. Mercenaries. Phoenix Company. Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's get a couple. Let's get three. Let's get a million. Let's have all these guys attack, and then once they're done, um, we should be able to just uh, disband the mercenaries, and that should be golden. I was kind of hoping that we could uh, see the end of this war before we end the episode, but I don't think it's going to happen, because I'm fairly certain this war is going to go on for a little bit longer. Okay, so they're actually going to attack us in here, which is perfect. Because, uh, they're going to get there March 3rd. And we are, I think, starting to make some decent progress in here. Oh, actually, no. The war just, the battle just started. Never mind. All right, let's have you guys actually meet them or follow them into, uh, Dasapura. These guys will fucking the boats. The boats. Please no to the boats. That's good. And a couple more days more days and you guys are gonna get there and once these mercenaries arrive we should be okay with those numbers but it's just taking them a little longer than expected March 3rd let's keep that in mind March 3rd Vista Vistapid um, stewardship appears to be your shtick and you diplomacy appears to be your shtick All right they're about halfway there and I think we're actually starting to see some uh, victories or some wins here. 21%. Alright, you know what? Let's... I can see this dragging on for a lot longer. Oh shit, this isn't gonna... Let's just see the successful win of this battle. Come on, please! Get in there! Oh! No! Unfucking believable Wow. What a hot piece of garbage. All right, well, um, fuck. And I've just forgotten everything. Nope. You got that victory at the very least. And let's start taking land away from the uh, Chinese here. Uh-uh. All right, well, you know what? Let's take a break here and come back tomorrow. Um, if I keep on with this, I am unfortunately going to uh, lose track and uh, sh um, shit's going to go to hell. So, All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.